So welcome to Hof. Um, I just decided to come out here today and do the cliff walk and take some photos, maybe do this, do, maybe put a vlog together, just because I've got the time off and I thought I might as well. So uh, yeah. <laughs> Jeez, fair play to that guy. There's a dude swimming over there. It's February. Okay, so today I am shooting on, and I've got two camera bodies, on this shoulder, I've got my old body, my Canon 1100D, a uh, great little entry level body if that's what you're looking for, you can probably get them mega cheap now, in the camera world, cheap anyway, and then on this shoulder I've got my baby, my 7D, um, I've just got the 18-55 to kit lens on at the moment, anyway, shooting conditions are fun. like they're all right it's very harsh light today but we can kind of work with that and get something I'm sure I just had to get out get out of the house challenge myself creatively a little bit yeah this is just on my phone I have been shooting on on, on a mixture between these two uh, for the previous couple of shots anyway yeah the Sun's very much out but uh, it'll swing around onto the cliff face um, once I round this bend here. All the cliffs are pretty much in shade at the moment, which makes for not very good photos. So yeah. I'll tell you something though, it is absolutely boiling. Maybe it's because I definitely overlayered. So we're going to stop and delayer now. It was meant to be very cold today. It was meant to be, it was forecast to be around like 4 degrees. It definitely is not 4 degrees. Um, it feels like at least, it feels like summer's on its way, which is exactly what we want at this point in time. Winter's been going on far too long. And I actually brought extra layers because <laughs> I thought it would be, that I'd be too cold. Do the, do the classic thing. Right. Well, yeah, it is, I'm not complaining, it is beautiful today. It's a really nice day. Not, not too great for photos, but that's, that's secondary. This is just a lovely bit of oxygen. Reset the system. We've rounded the corner now, and uh, I've got the first view of the lighthouse and very hazy Sugarloaf Mountains and Wicklow Mountains in the background. I'm trying to think what the composition is, see what I come up with. Okay, so I thought that I wasn't going to be able to get to the... Um, to the lighthouse but it's looking like we can um although it does say no entry hmm lighthouse mission a bunch of um i think they were tourists went in just before me and that's why i thought that i could get in but they were walking back out because the owners weren't too psyched on them being in there so yeah best not to this is the guy i'm following the purple. The purple for sure must be the longest one, but uh, because there's nobody else here on this bit, but it's by far got the best view of the of the lighthouse over there. God, that wouldn't be a bad place to live, would it? With a view like that. And you're damn close to Dublin City as well. Be a winning place to live. If you're curious as to what settings I'm using for these photos, um, it's changing, but. Uh, Generally, I'm keeping the ISO, because it's really sunny, I'm keeping the ISO 
way down. The ISO is on 100 and has been pretty much all day, which is as low as my camera will, will let it go. And then shutter speed nice and fast. And then whatever aperture I am feeling like for some of those ones of the lighthouse there where I had the flowers and the, or the vegetation out of focus in the foreground, um, I used a wider aperture. So I used f5, 6 or 5 or something like that um, for those shots. But then for the landscapey vibes where I'm trying to get lots of things in focus, um, I'm just showing the landscape. Um, I'm using like f11, but it varies. only say hello to dogs and not the owners or am I just strange okay so I've just found this little um, little cave thing um, I'm going to stop and have a bit of a drink and um, some food because I've been on the go for like it's five past two now so I've been on the go for four hours time that I had something to eat. So first we're gonna have some wawa. That's good. And then for snackings we've got walnuts and dates. So I'm gonna chow some of these and then we'll be on our way. so warm. Maybe it's just because I've been walking, but this is the first time I've been in a t-shirt outdoors in months. It's amazing. I think I'm gonna sit and just soak up some rays for a bit. I don't think there's a whole lot more of the walk left. Okay, rays have been soaked. Let's get back on the trail. cliff walk definitely wear shoes that you do not mind getting dirty because man it's money maybe it's different in summer most definitely is but um yeah definitely wear shoes you don't mind getting muddy and look we're linked back up with everyone now back in civilization this dog has just come and say come to say hello or not check there's a little hare or a rabbit or something I think it's a rabbit. I'm not sure. Just here, sitting beside the path. Okay hey guys, we're down off the cliff walk now. We're just right beside... Oh, that's actually my bus stop. That's handy. Um, anyway, yeah, that's going to conclude that with this little photo vlog. I think that's what I'm going to call these anyway, or something like that. That was the Hoth edition and the first edition. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave a thumbs up downstairs and subscribe while you're down there. And I'll see you guys in the next video.